Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my Fame Expo haul. I cannot take myself seriously because of how tan I am. I can't take myself seriously. I don't think you guys have ever seen me this tan. I have like a lot of bronzer on, but holy crap. And also I have come to the conclusion that those lights behind me just don't want to work anymore. Don't buy your lights at Forever 21. Okay, let's try to look past the fact that I am way too tan. Um, actually, I have self tanner on, loving tan, ultra dark, and it never makes me this dark, but I was already naturally tan by the sun before I applied the self tanner, so I was like double the tan. I look a little scared. I'm scaring myself. Okay, anyway. This past weekend, last weekend, was Fame Expo, and I got a bunch of stuff. I was so busy Saturday and Sunday. Um, because I was with BoxyCharm, like I went, I flew out to LA with BoxyCharm. So I was doing like my meetup. I didn't even get a chance to really see any of my other friends or do anything like that because I was like doing like the meetup y stuff. But I just quickly wanted to tell you guys uh, thank you so much for every single person who came up to me at Fame Expo. I was kind of blown away. Last time I was at IMATS, um, a lot of you guys came up to me, but I was like shocked at how many people came up to me, like shocked. And I was so sad to see you guys like, are my ears like white and my face tan? I was so sad to see people like waiting in line. Oh my god, I hate that. Like, there was a line, and I know that that's how like meetups work, but there was a line for you guys, and it just drives me crazy the fact that there was even a line. I hate people waiting just to meet me. It like creeps me out. Like, you shouldn't have to wait to meet me. Like, just if you can all like group hug, that'd be great. So I'm so sorry that you guys had to like wait. Oh, I hate that. But thank you to everyone who hugged me a lot. So, like, you guys were all really sweet, really nice. You guys were telling me, like, stories when you came up to me and certain things. And I just want to say that I have the best subscribers in the world. Even those of you who don't, who didn't go to fame and who I haven't met in person, your sweet comments, I read them all the time. I've been so busy the past week that I haven't been replying in my comment section as much. But I, I read them and I, like, appreciate every single one of you. Thank you to those of you who I didn't see this weekend, and thank you to those of you who I did see. I got to put so many, like, faces to names, and there was a lot of you guys that are recognized by your face um, from your icon on YouTube, so. Just thank you, because I have amazing subscribers and amazing friends. You guys are all my friends. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Your positivity makes me a better person and make, person. Makes me a better person and makes me more positive in life, and I love you. So, I just wanted to say that. So, thank you. So, I can't stop looking at my tan because I look, it doesn't look normal. Let's jump into everything I got because I bought so many things. Okay, so the first thing I was so excited to see, I didn't even know Sauce Box was going to be at Fame. And as soon as I saw Socks, Socks, Socks Box, I ran up to their booth and I immediately looked for the Battle Ash palette. And they had it, so that is the first thing I bought. If you don't know, uh, Battle Lash is like a group of girls here on YouTube and on Instagram mostly. Samantha is, I, I love Samantha so much. So I went ahead and bought the palette just to support them. And this is what the palette looks like. It's so pretty. And it comes with humongous freaking eyeshadows. I think these are the exact same size as the Makeup Forever Artist eyeshadows. They're huge, there's a lot of product. Um, the palette was like $60, $64, I think, which is expensive for eight eyeshadows. But you do get a lot of product, and I wanted to support the Battle Lash team because they're amazing, and like I said, I like to support other YouTubers. But I think the quality is on point. I'm actually wearing this on my eyes with some other stuff that I will show. But yes, I am very happy that I got my hands on the palette because I didn't order it online because there was like a huge like online crazy thing like it got sold out and stuff so so happy to see that it was at Fame. Alrighty then, I got some Morphe brushes. These were actually gifted to me by Linda. I met Linda. I love Linda so freaking much. I love the Morphe people. They're amazing. So I got more of their brushes. So thank you Linda because I mean I clearly didn't have enough brushes already. So I went to this booth that was selling like Ben Nye and Makeup Forever and like other stuff. And I noticed that Kevin Aquan was there. And Fame Expo is very, very similar to IMATS where like everything is discounted. So I really take advantage of at these places because I get a discount and I love sales. Especially on makeup. So when I saw that Kevin Aquan was there and it was discounted, I was like absolutely 100%. I got the Celestial Powder in the shade Starlight. 
candlelight was there and I feel like candlelight is a lot more popular, but I find fine that this one is prettier. Like I have things that look just like candlelight, you know? So this is what starlight looks like. It's a very pinky, peachy highlight. And these are normally like 50 bucks almost, and it was on sale for like $26 at Fame. So I took advantage of it, and it's very little for the price, but it's a beautiful, beautiful highlight. Um, Lady Moss was there. Lady Moss. Lady Moss Beauty was there, and I love Coco Lashes. They're so similar to House of Lashes, and House of Lashes are my favorite lashes. So they're pretty much, they're like dupes. Coco Lashes are dupes for House of Lashes and they're like half the price. So I got some of those. I got three of the Coco, okay these are all Coco Lashes, but I got three of these in Goddess. This is in the style Goddess, they are like ridiculous. They are so big and like intense. I would only wear this on like a crazy dramatic night out. And I got three in the style Mila, which these are more, I don't know if you can tell. These are more natural. Um, yeah. They're just like, honestly, like basic, natural looking lashes. Like they're not, they're, they don't have much wisp to them or, or depth, but they're just nice, like basic everyday lashes. I mean, I would never wear them every day, but you know. And then I got three of my favorite style and I got Misha. These are my favorite ones. These are super wispy and kind of like individual looking. A little bit like doll. They look like doll lashes. I love Misha's. So I got three of those. Then they had these eyelashes sitting right next to the Coco lashes. And I had never heard of this brand before. These are called Posh Lashes. They look identical to Red Cherry, which I love Red Cherry because they're like a couple of dollars. And they're really good. So they had these and they were 10 for $13. So I got 10 of the exact, like the same exact ones. 10 lashes in the style WSP, which is wispy. They're all wispies, but they're beautiful. Like when I saw these instantly, I was like, those are the prettiest wispy eyelashes I've ever seen. Like I like them better than Ardell and everything. They just look perfect. Um, I walked over to Violet Voss because the owner of Violet Voss is like so freaking sweet. And she gave me, I actually didn't buy these. She gave me um, a few of her little pigments, but I think these are glitters. I don't think these are pigments. Yeah, they don't look like eyeshadows. They look like little glitters. So she gave me a bunch of these amazing glittery things from Violet Voss. And she gave me like a lot more than these, but I shared with my sister. I gave half of them to my sister. So yes, amazing. And then she also gave me this. This is the Violet's Secret Weapon. Loose Pigment and Glitter Adhesive. I'm excited to see how good this is. Okay, so then. I went to, oh, by the way, also, I forgot to show this. Um, at Lady Moss, I bought the Coco Lashes Brush On Lash Adhesive because this looks really similar to the House of Lashes one. It's even latex free, which House of Lashes is latex free. And this is a brush on just the same way the House of Lashes one is. So I'm really excited because House of Lashes Adhesive is my favorite lash glue ever. So if this is a dupe for it, yay. All right. Now, my favorite thing about like IMAT and Fame Expo is that Namie's is there. And Namie's is 40% off. 40% off, that's amazing. So I went a little crazy. I went straight, straight to the Laura Mercier section at Namie's because I freaking love Laura Mercier, but that's expensive. And for 40% off, like I go, I go his ham, ham. So I got the foundation primer from Laura Mercier and I got it in, in uh, Radiance Bronze because I have the Radiance one which I have recently been using under like all of my foundations, this Radiance one. It's so glowy and beautiful. And then I was like, oh, I want the Radiance Bronze one for the summertime. So I picked it up and it's very good. I really like it. It's that bronzy color and you might think like, oh, that looks really similar to the bronze BB cream, but this is actually like more opaque. This actually goes on like a BB cream and this is bronze, but it kind of shears out so it only gives you like a slight warmth to the skin, which I really like to use it kind of like on its own because that BB bronzer is too dark to use on its own, but this is sheer. So like I blend it out of my face and it gives me glow and a sheer wash of bronze. So I used it underneath my face today. 
And the brown, the darkness has nothing to do with this, but I really like it so far. And then I got this. If you guys saw my foundation stash video, you knew that I feel like I'm always opening this drawer. I have this bad boy. This is the regular Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation. They recently discontinued this and reformulated it. And now they have one specifically for dry skin and one specifically for oily skin. So they have a moisturizing one and an oil-free one. And of course, I am dry. So I wanted to try it out because I don't love this one. I picked up the Silk Cream Moisturizing Photo Edition Foundation. And now the packaging looks like this. And I have mine in sand beige. They don't, like the colors don't correspond. I self tan the day right before Fame Expo, like, and I'm still dark. So when the girl matched me, I'm such an idiot. So, like I should have said like, okay, I'm like two shades lighter than this normally. But she color matched me to my like fresh tan, which is sand beige, which is the color on my face. So I mean, clearly it matches as you can see. But I have to have a fresh arse tan in order to wear this. But I love it. I love it so much more than this. This one is lightweight. It's not as thick. It's not as moussey. It's a little bit more lightweight. It blends better. My skin looks a little bit glowy. It can breathe. It's like moisturizing. I love this foundation. I am definitely going to go to Sephora soon and picking up a lighter color because I'm, I can only wear this like when my tan is fresh. <sighs> okay, more stuff at Namie's. I went to the Dose of Colors booth um, with the intentions of picking up another liquid lipstick, but for some reason none of them called out to me. I have so many liquid lipsticks already. So I was looking at their baked highlighters and there was one that was like more pinky, like another one that was more for my skin tone, but I decided to go for the dark one. This one is in the shade Sunkissed. This is perfect for very dark skin tones. like. Medium tan to dark skin tones. If you are a woman of color, a beautiful chocolate goddess, this will look amazing on you. Like, amazing. This is what it looks like. It's called Sun Kissed. I already said that. And this is the highlight I'm wearing on my face, but I am using it as a blush. Now, my normal skin color, I could never wear this on my face because this is way too dark. But it is a nice, like, orangey, goldy blush topper. So that's, what is, that's what's on my face. That's I used it as a blush, but also as a highlight, that's the glow. Like, all the glow on my cheeks is this. And then I also used, because it has uh, more whitish gold, and then it has an orangey gold. Can you tell? Like, this is orange, and this is like a white gold. It's a marble pattern, so you have to, like, mix it all together. But then you could also kind of use it in little sections. So I dabbed my eyeshadow brush in like the copper orange shade and that's what's on my eyelid as eyeshadow. And I don't have anything in my collection like this. I'm actually, right after I film this video, I'm gonna clean out my makeup, donate to donate some stuff and then things that I wouldn't donate because they're gross, I'm gonna throw them away. I'm literally going to clean out my stuff so I can breathe again while I buy more makeup. Okay, more Namies. I got some more stuff at Namies. I don't even think this is out yet. Well, at least that's what the girl at the counter told me. I looked at this and I was like, I don't need it. But the more I looked at it, I was like, maybe I do. <laughs> I guess. I'm crazy, but she was like, oh, we're selling out fast. And that's not available to the public yet. So you can buy it here early before everybody else can. And I was like, okay, I'll buy it. <laughs> so this is the Lorac Pro Matte Palette. Why I like it is because it's really, really little. And... Um, it's really little and it's cute and it's so sleek. It comes with eight eyeshadows, um, but they're nice eyeshadows. They're all matte. It has a white one, one like the color of my skin when I'm not tan. <laughs> and then it has a pinkish crease color and then a neutral, more cool tone brown crease color. And then it has a burgundy reddish beautiful color and then two browns, one is more warm, one is more cool tone, and then a matte black. So I think it's very versatile, and I have like these two colors in my crease, and I have, that's it. Oh, this is my brow bone highlight, this white. I really like it. I don't love the Lorac formula in their eyeshadows because there's a lot of kick up, but they're very pigmented, so 
I like it. I got three, because it was 40% off, because I know this is gonna sound excessive, but I bought three of the Beauty Blender Solid Cleanser. I go through these like water. I have tried every dupe out there, like the Dr. Bronner's or something, the soap, and I don't love it. It dries up my, uh, it dries up my uh, brushes. I love the solid cleanser. I use it so much. So I got three because it was on sale. Two more things I got at Namie's. I got this from Girl Lactic. Even though I'm friends with the owner, Galit, and she sends me things, I like to buy things from the people I like. So I bought this star shadow. And the reason why I bought this is because when I saw it, my sister and I were like, that would be a really beautiful face highlight. And I was like, Absolutely, and it's it's such a big eyeshadow that it even looks like it could be like a mini highlight. Oh, this is what it looks like. It's so pretty. It's like a pinky champagne, not as pink as the Kevin Aquan one, but this formula is so buttery and it's such an intense sheen that there's no glitter, no chalkiness. It doesn't accentuate your skin underneath. It's such a pretty color, and it's the perfect size to travel with as an as a you know highlight and an eyeshadow and a brow bone highlight and an inner corner highlight. And a face product. Mm, I like it. And then the last thing I got at Namie's, I was so excited to see this. So, of course, you know, my obsession with Jaclyn Hill and everything she recommends, I buy it. Everything. She was wearing this foundation in her snaps recently, and I think she's mentioned it on her channel. This is the Elsie Foundation. With green tea extract, white tea extract, and vitamin E. Um, it says to shake well before use. Use fingertips, but I'm mm, not going to do that. Um, Jacqueline did say that this was a very like matte foundation, but you know, I like my radiance primers and everything So I'm sure I can make it work. The packaging is so pretty. Look at this bottle It is so pretty I haven't used it yet, so I don't even know if I'm gonna like it I don't know if it's gonna work with my skin and again I'm stupid and she matched me to my self tanning shade. Actually. I think this is a little bit lighter So maybe it'll work for me it almost has like a serum-y feel. I feel like it's gonna be matte. I don't know, I'm really excited to try it out. I hope it's good, but I was excited to see this at Namie's. I didn't know that they even sold this at Namie's, so. It was 40% off, so I decided to take the plunge and try it out. So, I got two foundations, because you know, I'm more of a drugstore foundation girl, but I wanted to like branch out. Okay, so that's everything I got at Namie's. I went to the Anastasia booth, and I picked up I bought two more brow whizzes in dark brown because their brow products were 20% off, I think. So I got backups of my favorite brow whiz. And then I went to Cinema Secrets and I got their quick drying, rinse free makeup brush cleaner. This is a spot cleaner. It's not like an actual like brush cleaner like this. This is just a like spot cleaner brushes. Honestly, I love it because it smells like vanilla, like, like MAC lipsticks. It smells delicious. And then I got this to pour in. It's just like a tin that you open, you pour the brush cleaner in, and then you dip your brush into it, and then go like this on a towel, and then clean it. And then boom. Okay, so then I went to this little counter that had like a little section of Jouer Cosmetics, and I got this. It was, ow, oh, that hurt my ear. I got this, it was in a, like a little trio set, and this is their cream highlighters. Um, and my sister and I got the last ones that we were so excited. We were like, oh my god, we almost missed them. They're so beautiful. They come in a set of three because they connect. Let me show you what they look like. This one's in the shade Camellia. Camellia? Yeah. This one is in the shade Tiara or Tiare. And this one is in Champagne. I thought it was really cool like to travel because they're three different color highlighters. Okay, so individually they look like this. They're like little squares as a jouet on them. And then they connect like this. Look, look, look. Ah. Let me try that again. So they connect like this, and then they are three highlights. I've already swatched them. But they look like this. So it's a really beautiful gold, like straight gold highlight. A super intense pearly finish, like a pearly white, wet kind of highlight look thing and then a beautiful pinky peach so this is perfect to travel with because you have three different highlights they're cream highlighters so they stay on the skin for a really long time and then the last stop was melt cosmetics i was so excited to find out that melt was there because i could only get melt online and i have the melt 
Dark Matter stack, which looks like this. And I love it. These are eyeshadows and the coolest packaging ever. It's pretty pricey. It's like $48 for four eyeshadows, but they're huge eyeshadows. And they're a really cool indie brand, and I like, I don't know, I like them. I like these people. They're awesome. So I bought that, and I wanted to buy the Love Sick stack, but I didn't think I was going to get much, much use out of it. Those are definitely my kind of colors. But since they were there, and I'm pretty sure they were on sale, I'm not exactly sure, because I was kind of dizzy looking at all the Melt stuff. I don't know if they were on sale. I think they were. Yes. So I went ahead and got the Love Sick stack. So pretty. The only one I don't think I would get much use out of it is this one because this is like pure red. The other one in the Dark Matter stack is like a burgundy. This is like red. But these three colors are so beautiful. They're so pigmented. Um, And then I got three lipsticks. I had never tried Melt lipsticks before, but I hear they're super matte and super amazing. So I got this one in the shade Laced. And it's the lipstick I'm wearing right now. It's the one that I really wanted. I was scared it was going to be sold out, but they weren't. And this is what it looks like. I love the packaging. Matte black and sleek. It's very similar to Max Stone. Now that I look at it, look at it. Are these the exact same color? Because I have Stone and that would have been a waste of money. But it's super matte but not drying on my lips. I don't feel it dry at all. And then I got this one in Bang Bang. Which is the one I really, really wanted as well. Because it's my kind of color. Just wait till I show you. You're going to be like, oh yeah, that's your kind of color. It's like an, it's orange. It's like a pure orange. And I've always wanted a super matte, vibrant orange. Just like my um, Kat Von D A Go Go liquid lipstick. But I wanted a lipstick, not a liquid lipstick. I got Bang Bang. And then I got this one, which I'm nervous I'm not going to love it. Because super nude colors, when they're matte, aren't very flattering on my lips but it was just sitting there so pretty Had like a bump here this is in the shade nude and i like how they spelled it n-o-o-d this is what it looks like so it's really pretty i love that they're matte and i love matte lips and that is it oh, oh, oh. that is everything i got at fame it's a lot of stuff but I snagged good deals. Everything was like on sale. I love you guys. Thank you again for coming up to me. I, thank you. You guys mean the world to me. Oh my God, let me show you something. So a subscriber actually came up to me and gave me this when she went to Santorini, Greece. And I'm so excited. I want to go run and put this. There's hair on it. My dogs. I'm about to go run and put this on my fridge because that's amazing. I love it so much. When you gave it to me, if you are watching, I was very excited. And then another subby came up to me and made me this. It says, live, dream, believe. She made this herself and made me... <laughs> I mean, there's like hair everywhere. And made me this card, which you can't really tell. It's like washing it out. But oh my god, you are so sweet. And then her friend also made me this. It says KL. And it's a vegan brush cleaner. How cool is that? It was, so, it was so nice. I don't expect anybody to gift me anything. But you guys were all amazing. I just want to say I love it. And I'm going to hang it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.